boys and girls, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different and I'm hoping it's going to work. One of these days I'm going to figure out how to get a clear picture and also be able to see what's going on on the other side. Um, I feel like I should be more advanced in this but because it takes way too much time to kind of get that together. But anyway, today we're going to do something a little bit different. I have some things to do that do not call for crazy ass makeup. Uh, for those of you who are brand new, welcome. I uh, hope that you like this channel. I hope that you like this video. It's about to be going down up in here. And for those of you who have been watching, thank you. I'm really appreciative because YouTube's been doing some weird stuff changing things up. But anyway, today we're going to do something a little bit different. And I we're going to see how that goes. First of all, I really wish that um, I didn't feel like my camera is in my face right now, but we're going to figure this out together. So today I got some things to do and uh, I figured what better time than now to attempt to put my makeup on and be natural. Because usually it's, I either wear all of it or just mascara or nothing. So today I've got some things that call for natural makeup whatever that is, we're going to see if we can tackle that today. And actually, while I'm doing this, I'm going to show you some of the new products I've had. They're not brand new right now, but I've had them for a while and I'm behind on videos. So I wanted to throw a couple of those in here so that you see my view on some of them. And a lot of other things are kind of typical of me, um, normal ones. So if you've been here before, you'll probably know that tune. And if you haven't, then you'll learn something new. Uh, on top of that, I actually really wanted to try the new BoxyCharm from February because March is coming up and I'm trying to get back on track myself. So I am going to sample, I think all of it. Yeah, all of it. All the things in the BoxyCharm this month. So yeah. So without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty then, so I think I am prepared and we're gonna do this the best that we can. So first of all, when I get started, uh, I usually use either a moisturizer or a primer. Lately I have not been using any kind of primer for my face because my left side tends to now have wrinkles from the sun apparently and I have to use SPF so I have been using the uh, perfect world SPF 40 this little sucker right here it is a little greasy that's why I have a, a shine to me but I do find that is very 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 moisturizing and perfect for my skin however today I wanted to try out the Smashbox photo finish primerizer it's expensive as but um, I've been wanting to try it because it is a moisturizer and a primer in one. I tried it today and I really, I do like it. Uh, unfortunately, my skin must be in a weird zone right now because it just wanted to soak it all in. So I didn't feel like, it was just like I didn't have enough. So I did end up putting some of my Origins on my face as well. So do I like this? Absolutely. It feels really good. It is not greasy. It's a great texture. The only problem that I have when I put a moisturizer on before I start my makeup is I can get even more of a dark circle under my eyes. So I'm hoping that will not happen today. But if it does, I am prepared. Please do not mind the little kitty. And um, this one over here is Minxie. She's my mama cat. The little kitty thinks that she owns this place. So, okay. Hello. On another note, the, the Becca first light priming filter, instant complexion refresh thing. It's, it's nice. I like it. I've been using it. Do I think I'm going to repurchase that because it's expensive as crap? Okay. So are y'all ready? Are you ready? This is a big jump for me. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Okay. All right. So what do I start with? What do I start with? Drawing a blank. So the first thing I'm going to actually start with is the, my brows. I'm going to do my brows first. So we have the city color bold 
brow in the color medium. I actually really like this little kit. Um, City Color is pretty cheap, but I got it in one of my bags and I actually like it. It is not my favorite, but because it's small and compact, I can travel with it easy. So I usually just tap it in here and go for it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera because I got to get close to my face. All right, boys and girls, I am back. Um, just remember, I want you to always remember that your brows are supposed to be sisters, not necessarily twins. With that said, I'm actually going to set my face and then go from there. So please be mindful that I do this totally different than most beauty bloggers currently because this is just my process at the moment. So um, the first thing I'm gonna do is do some of my concealer. Um, lately, I have been into the color, color cor correction makeup, ugh, the Mega Glow Makeup Stick uh, Conceal by uh, Wet n Wild. What I really like about this is sometimes I can just put dabs all over my face and bam, I have a foundation. It's kind of nice. And then the other one I got on sale at Pixie was this Flawless Vitamin Veil Foundation that I'm throwing. Uh, so it looks a little something like this, and I've been actually using this for concealer, not for foundation. And I'm not really in a foundation mood today, so, but I'm trying to get rid of stuff that I've had that was okay or I liked sort of and just kind of get done with it. So um, today I'm going to also use the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless um, Instant Wiggle Defying Foundation and Sunscreen which I'm all over that. I am classic ivory, 210. It's spitting everywhere. Now it comes with this applicator under here. This is kind of nifty, don't get me wrong. I, kinda, I like it. But, you know, you undo it, and clearly after a while it dries out a bit. Ooh. That's still good. It's still good. So I'm going to show you a little bit of the Pixie so you see what I'm talking about. Uh, and I And it's very creamy, so I usually just... Let's see how white it is. So that's very white. E, whitey, whitey. <laughs> so it works really well for a concealer for me. Um, I have the Tarte Shape Tape. I have yet to do a video of me using it because I hate it so much. I hate it. Um, but then again, I've been really hating concealers in general lately because it's not covering up my spots and all that jazz. Now that I look like a ghost, it's perfect. <laughs> Let's just see if I like that. What was that? That was not English. Let's just leave it like that. It looks perfect. Okay. Yeah. No. So... Next part, I'm going to attempt to use this foundation. Let's see how this goes. I might have to do this off camera too. So I'm just gonna pat it on here. This is for those of you who like to rub shit into your face. Ooh. It's the rubbing of the foundation. I think it's funny how the beauty community gets on your butt for not patting in your foundation. Don't mind the kitty, but yet companies come up with stuff like this, but and I think, I don't think they carry this anymore now. I don't know. I mean, it's a good idea. It's not gross feeling, but it's not the best either. You know what I mean? And it drives me nuts when I see these popular bloggers, like, not blending into your hairline. Hello, you have a freaking line around your face. Ugh. Anybody else bothered by that? Sharing a couple of pet peeves of mine. You know. Kind of like, I don't like the really dark um, eyebrows either. I'm not a fan of that. This is how you do your face. The wrong way, apparently. And blend. Oh, I've been hearing so many people lately say, why are you going down your neck? 
really? And you're a professional? Like, what? See, I blend in a weird way because you don't want a line. You don't want to keep going and have a line. But you have to be careful because you don't want it in your hair either. And some bloggers, I've seen them, the beauty vloggers, I've seen them do their ears too, so that's weird. Yeah, I need to set this bastard first before I put any other powders on. So lately, I have been attempting, again, to knock out some of these things. Y'all know I'm, I love my CoverGirl Get Ready Gorgeous in 105 Fair. It is a powder foundation, so it looks like this. But today, I'm going to use my other favorite, which I haven't used in a while. I found it, is the Rimmel Stay Matte um, Long Lasting Pressed Powder. It is in Sandstorm, looks like this, it's 004. And then my trusty poof brush. And then I just kind of tap, tap it in. Give it a little tappy. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. And then just What I find is because I have these little wrinkles and stuff, if I tap rather than sweep, um, the powder gets in the crevices rather than sitting on top, which is what I want before I actually rub and set, you know, if that makes sense. Ugh. Please forgive my hair. I didn't put anything in it last night because I'm planning on dyeing it a crazy color. Haven't chosen yet. Okay, so hope that looks okay. I'm gonna go back and put the Wet n Wild concealer on my eyes because that's what I use to make my eyeshadows pop. And I don't like to set it with a powder. I like I like my eyeshadows to stick fairly fast and I go from there. I don't are y'all like that? Like, the whole putting powder on top of the sticky whatever, like, it's called a primer. I, whatever you use, because clearly I use concealer. Um, do you, do you like it sticky when you put on that? Or do you rub, I want to say, do you rub it out? What do you do? Share with me. I'm going to go ahead and use the... Pure, what is this? Hang on. First item in the boxy charm. Pure the Complexion Authority Exfo Lips Plumping Lip Exfoliator. It is $17. I've used this one other time and it's kind of cool. Um, it says instant boost of shea butter, but, butter, butter, raw sugar, and exfoliating beads. This four in one lip scrub pencil exfoliates, plumps, hydrates, and soothes. Using the shea butter, 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 <sighs> to soften lips while the raw sugar and exfoliating beads are used to buff away dead surface cells and it moisturizes the lips for a softer, smoother, more plump lip. Again, MSRP, $17. And like a lip scrub in a pencil. And that tastes good. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, it does, you know, leave you a ring and stuff. So I'm gonna wipe it off a little bit. I have not yet gotten to whitening my teeth because I need to. Because clearly all the coffee I've been drinking lately um, is turning my teeth orange but anyway because I do all my work at Starbucks I live at Starbucks that's what I do anyway so that's the first thing so what do I think about the pure lip scrub it's good I like it no problem um, is it something that I will purchase again no I'm not I like other things better but that is actually really good to use with um, use on the go but clearly I shouldn't have put this uh, base on before I did that. See, this is why I don't 
like that foundation. It there's it's splotchy. And I don't like splotchy. Not gonna lie, usually I just wear powders, but yep, splotchy. And I think I'm going to officially throw this away now while I spit on myself. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm going to use my Sephora Colorful uh, Tranquil Sculptor Contouring whatever because it's gloomy outside. I haven't used this one in a while because I don't remember why, but I am going to use this with my crown brush. This is clearly for highlighting and I love this brush, but I don't like it for highlighting. It's weird. So with that said, we're going to see how it goes with this. This is the first time I've done this one. So I usually just tap it in. Do, do, do. Give it a little tappy. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. Name the movie. Okay, so if this foundation wasn't so horrible, this might work better, but you can kind of get an idea. See, I even have a line up here, like this is not a foundation that I'm going to be using again. This is why I didn't use it in the first place, pretty sure. By Ofra Cosmetics. This is called the Pop Up Palette Mini. It is $19. And uh, it came with the blush that's in here in Godot. It's a refill. And it opens a little like this. The only thing that I've noticed so far is the the magnet is not as harsh. I mean, not as like it doesn't, it's not very strong. Uh, compared to the, some other palettes I have. Even my ColourPop one is better than this. And I think this little thing right here is very odd. But, I mean, it works. So we're going to try out the blush. And with that being said, the blush, again, is $12. And then I usually use my Real Techniques blush brush. But today, for purposes of this video, we're going to try the other thing, which is the... Um, more crown brushes which look just like wet and wild what are you doing crown are you mocking them what are you what i mean identical and but they, they feel softer i'm not gonna lie so yeah this is the crown pro trio brush set bones and perimeter of the face i'm not a fan of the little ones i need i like the bigger ones and then the large powder brush can be used to set everything in place now i know i've already done that before but i wanted to use this one for my blush but because a small one like this just seems a little weird to me but we're gonna go with it i'm gonna use i'm gonna use the big one um gonna use the big one and kind of go with it see see how that works not a lot Ooh. See, uh, it's, this is a big brush, too. It's okay if it's a little intense. I have a plan. This is usually what I end up doing. And I'm going to add a little glow by using my Pure Highlighting Palette right here. I wanted this so badly and it is so natural, but it has a bling to it. It's great. So, um, but I don't use it as much as I want to because it settles in my wrinkles. So I'm going to use a little bit of the sunset color here. Tap it in there a little bit. A little goes a long way and put that. I'm going to attempt to use this new one that I got in my bag just the other day. So we're going to go with that. For the palette that I have today, um, I have chosen to do my Too Faced Clover palette. Yeah! Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I've used this palette a couple of times, and oh, I really like it. I don't adore it, though, because I feel like... I feel like some of the other brands are better for me.
personally. Like, I like the pure eyeshadows better than I like the Too Faced ones. I don't like tart eyeshadows either. I'm not really a fan of anything tart minus a blush, really. And even then, it's like iffy. So, this is what the Clover palette looks like if you have not seen it. So, it's absolutely stunning. I am not going to swatch them here. If you want me to... If you want to see a swatch video from me, I know people have already done this palette, please let me know in the comment section below and we will get that on for you. So again, we're doing natural today and I know a lot of these don't look quite that natural. So we're going to see what we can do. So today I think I'm going to go with more of cool tones. So I'm going to start with best friends here and a little bit of Chihuahua up in here. I'm going to, miss, I'm going to mix these two together for a crease color so and what are we using we're going to need to use this brush right here all right so tap it in see there is zero fallout unless you like ugh, which can be good and bad so i love the cool tones in this palette oh i waited too long increased a little okay I'm very irritated at myself now. <sighs> so what do I do on a daily basis? If you don't know who I am, I'm a therapist. <laughs> a therapist? Why would you be making YouTube videos? Is that appropriate? Honestly, I don't know. But does it make you feel good? Do you judge me for it? Um, it's not like I tell my clients, hey, go check me out on YouTube. You should. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with YouTube either lately because um, they're doing some weird crap. I got an email and I felt super rejected. I don't, I don't really understand what's going on with YouTube and something happened, but they said I'm not part of it and I have to have more hours. So please tell your friends, tell your family, tell somebody um, to get over to my channel and check it out. So... Yeah, that would be nice and greatly appreciated for sure. So anyway, um, if you ever notice, I don't normally use palette mirrors because I don't know why I like to get really close in and this one little mirror I have is perfect for it. So I don't know if this is going to look natural now that I'm looking at this. We're going to keep going though. No judgment here. Okay. This little mirror, I, I have no idea where I got it. I think I got it from a um, holiday thing for Christmas from a family member. And I go nowhere without it. If I have my makeup, at least. And, yeah. So I've only recently broken it by, I guess I put my fist in. And, yeah, I put my fist in. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um... And I think I broke it that way, and I've tried to redo with um, Gorilla Glue to make it stick, and it just it hasn't worked very well. Okay, so I'm just going back and forth with the Chihuahua and the Best Friends. I actually really like that it's buildable. Um, these colors are really pretty. And it wasn't going for super dark on this purpley gray, but it's turned out pretty good. I like it. What do you think? I'm not, I mean, I wasn't really a big fan of um, Too Faced too much. This is the first Too Faced palette I really had. But I like that it is buildable. And I actually really love the colors. The only one I haven't been able to utilize the most is this Good Boy, which is a black with blue sparkles. But when you put it on the skin, like the sparkles just poof away, and I'm I'm like, what um what are we? I don't know what we're doing here. So I love the concept of them utilizing this palette to support adopting animals and stuff like that. So that is pretty awesome. So with that said, okay, so I feel like we have been 
snatched and blended. Is that how people say it? Snatched and blended. So the only thing I do not really like about this palette is there is not a brow bone highlight. I mean, there's a white, but there's not a matte that I, that I go for in this palette. So I can't necessarily just travel with it by itself, but this Chihuahua color is a good lighter brown that can be used to fade if you've noticed how I'm doing it. Now, oh, this is really pretty. I'm not, I thought I would suck at this, but hey, woohoo. Learn something new every day. Okay, so with that said, that is done. Um, and use this side of the brush and go back in with the Best Friends, which is the purpley gray right here. And I'm gonna mix it with something else. What am I gonna mix it with? yellow no I'm gonna mix it with oh I'm sorry that's not best friends that's paw print and chihuahua I'm so sorry so paw print is here and the black one over here is not good boy it's wolf my bad <laughs> clearly I messed up so I'm going to mix paw print and love is love together I'm gonna mix these two together this one is really bright by the way so I'm going to go from there, a little, little dusty, and go into the bottom. Ugh. That looks soft. Wow. Okay. I don't recommend that you... um. Put your stuff in your eye, especially if you have contacts. It's not, not recommended. Clearly, I have problems. What do you think? I think that's really pretty. So I'm just going to keep going in and build it up. So I'm curious if you're still watching this, I know I'm supposed to like talk during it or whatever, right? Um, do you think I'm good at these videos? Should I keep doing it? I mean, let me know because I really enjoy doing it, but I don't know if the videos are worthy of me to keep trying to be on YouTube. I mean, there's like a bajillion people looking at makeup videos and stuff like that, but I've always been extra unique. So I don't know if that sets me apart a little bit or or what so if you like this or you would just rather check out my Instagram and my photos that way um, that would be cool to know um, while I'm here I'm gonna actually go in with a little bit of the daddy's love me right here just for a little pop on the corners See how that works. Bring it down. I said natural, didn't I? <laughs> when have you known me to do anything natural? Ever. Not necessarily the best brush for this, but I'm just kind of going with it. It's not a huge deal if you don't use the right brush. I mean, I don't think it matters. For all you cat lovers, we got enough kitties up in here, huh? Uh, if you don't know, that was Minxie. She's... Mm. She'll be 15 in July. Okay, so I like this. This looks really nice. And wow, this could actually be a look for Valentine's Day 
too bad it's after Valentine's Day, but I mean, if you and your love celebrate for an anniversary or whatever, um, you can't get any better than this for a more natural look, but a pop of color. Oh, I like it. If you have any type of colored eyes, no offense to anybody with dark colored eyes, but um, I would play on colors that make your eyes stand out. For me, um, purples, pinks, oranges, um, they say blue, but depends on the blue, makes my eyes stand out. And they can be more gray at times, so I'm shaking. I need to stop drinking two, two things of coffee because that clearly is too much for me. I'm not handling it very well. Okay, so with that said, I'm going to be done with that. So I got this, I got a knockoff of the subculture and I haven't done a video with that yet, but um, the brush it came with is horrible for it says Anastasia Beverly Hills, but it's horrible for actually putting on uh, any eyeshadows. So, but it is exceptional for doing brow bone highlight, which is, this is my favorite side, and inner corner. But I don't know about you, but uh, when I do my inner corner, I'm, I have to use my finger. It's more of a pop when I do that way. So for my brow bone today, I'm gonna do something. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the I Rough You and see if this, little glowy glittery pink um, will stand out here a little bit ooh ooh soft oh I like this now that I'm at it let's let's go down here oh mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's really pretty. I have yet to use this palette um, in this way, for sure. For sure. See how awesome this, this little doodad is? Do that. It's a fucking brush, dude. Um, kids, if your parents are allowing you to watch this, I don't normally cuss as much, but um, yeah, sorry. My bad. Okay. Let's try something new. I'm going to flip it over, and we're going to do the puppy eyes right here on the inner corner, and I'm going to show you this other side of the brush. And there is more fallout with this one. And how much inner corner does not work very well for me. But if you use an eyeshadow, it does. Clearly. Now, I'm going to show you with my pinky. Not so much with eyeshadows, but when you're doing um, highlighter, it's a little different. Now, so you use your finger with this, and you get more of the glitter payoff from it, which is a good thing. Let's put a little... There we go. Ooh, so pretty. Okay. So I'm going to be a genre with that. Um, I guess that's as natural as it's really going to get for me. Um, something I did want to try is the other cover effects um, shimmer veil. It says you can actually use this pearlescent cream. It's perfect for eyelids, but can be used anywhere you want a veil of shimmer. Um, this unparalleled buildable formula feels like weightless lasts all day and won't crease or transfer. 
I'm not gonna put it in my crease today, so we won't know, but the Shimmerville is $28, and the color that they gave me, I just lost it, is called Amethyst. So it's like a pinky, it's a pinky purpley color, which is right up my alley. If you see that, it's got blue and purple flecks in it, and it's got a doe foot. And let's see, oh, it's, it's, uh, it's like a light purplish color. I don't know if you can see that, but I like it. So let's, let's put it on our lid too and see if it works. I'm not a fan of a lot of stuff like this because putting wet on my eyes I'm not really a fan of that because sometimes the wet stuff actually the wet stuff actually feels weird and I don't know about y'all but I have very sensitive eyes so sometimes I'm keeping that white there this is really pretty I guess good for a, a cut crease oh look at that you could do the line Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Let's see you. Well, let's go ahead and cover up that white part, even though I had a pop. So you had the idea of natural. But when do you know me ever to do natural? All or nothing, baby. This is really pretty. I just can't fathom paying almost $30 for this. I mean, I guess it will last forever, but I'm not a huge fan. But anyway, what I was saying is I have very sensitive eyes, so <sighs> using these are kind of something I, I fear a bit, you know, because when I use certain... Uh, glitter eyeliners or whatever they are very even the duo glue for um, eyelashes I can't wear that it really hurts so this is really really pretty I'm not gonna lie so I am glad I went with that I think I went a little too far over here um, so maybe I'll go in and just touch up the little burgundy part and let's see what okay all right okay I see you. Okay. Just deepen that out. See how it's buildable, but you gotta like be careful. The first time I used this, I was riding in a car. It was really not the best idea. But anyway, okay. So I really love this palette, dude do that whatever wherever you are I really like this cover effect stuff too I am a fan I have been wanting to try this stuff but like I said I'm not gonna spend that much money so that's like the the rest of the boxy charm I've kind of covered it all except for one thing the last thing is the eyeliner pen pencil by the vintage by Jessica Lebiskin I leave I always demolish that. Anyway, it's just a smoky eye pencil in jet black. I'm hoping this is not going to ruin my my vibe that I got going on here. I'm actually going to do the top part of my eyes in a liner by Clinique. Um, Y'all know I'm not a really big fan of these felt tip liners, um, but this one's all right, you know, so we're going to see what happens, how this goes. So I'm going to do this off camera because I'm horrible at getting in my face so I'll be back Where's it? okay so I have so many problems with felt tips but I actually really like it it bends very well and it doesn't dry out now given I'm still not awesome at the felt tips I don't know why lately I've been sucking at matching my wings on each side of my freaking face I don't know why but story of my life 
Perfect, it doesn't exist. Okay, so on the other side, what I'm gonna use is this vintage one, other side, the bottom side of this. I'm going to use on the bottom side. See how this goes. The all-nighter Urban Decay 24-7 or whatever one comes off on my contacts and I hate that liner. Um, I'm a huge fan of now the Smashbox liner. I like that one. The gel. But the other one is the Rodile. And Rodile is known for skincare, not makeup. And it's one of the few things they have that's water and it's waterproof. I love it. I love it. It doesn't come off of my contacts and it lasts nearly all day. But I think it's like 20 something dollars. But so far I like this one. I think had I used a lip pencil for my liner, it would have made it pop a little bit more. But for purposes of this video, I'm not doing that. Clearly. I said I was doing natural, but this is as natural as you get. Okay. I have so many ideas to keep going with this look, but I can't. I've got shit to do. I don't wear uh, lashes throughout the rest of the day, and no, I didn't use these two brushes because this will probably be used for eyeshadow, and this one will be used for. I don't know. But anyway, those are those. And we went over everything out of the BoxyCharm for the Galaxy Glow for this month. The only thing is, is I really don't understand why it's Galaxy Glow. There's nothing really in here that glows except for the color X effects. The color effects, um, stuff. The, what the hell is this? Shimmer Veil. The rest of it is nothing Galaxy and nothing glow, so... What's up with that, BoxyCharm? What is up with that? Anywho, I digress. Okay, so mascaras I want to go over. I have been using the Marc Jacobs mascara, this right here, the Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. I actually really like it. I'm very picky about my wands. Now, I've had this for a while, so I wanted to make sure I reviewed it. It is getting a little clumpy. I use it a lot. Um, the only thing is, is that you have to be really careful or start coming off. It does remind me of my Wet n Wild. Um, now this one's old too. I haven't used it in a while because I've been using stuff sent to me, but this is the one that I really do like and it is the fiber lashes, but I don't use the fibers. I just use the mascara. I love it. But I've also been using, using the Tardis, um, lash paint, uh, mascara and I like it too. So... It's okay. I mean, it's not my favorite, but for purposes, again, I'm going to, because I think it's because this applicator is um, plastic. So I'm going to show you how thin. It's really not a first time mascara, but I don't like using multi multiple mascara. So we're going to go back to the Smart Cheek Tips right here. I'm going to do this and I'll be back. Okay, the, so a big reason of why I really love the Wet n Wild mascara over the Marc Jacobs is I did Marc Jacobs over here and I did the Wet n Wild over here. I don't know if you can noticeably tell, but these this side has clearly fanned out more and I love this. I love this wand. I love it. I don't like any of the other mascaras by Wet n Wild, but... I wish I didn't have to buy the fibers for this, but, um, cause I have several of them and I don't, I don't use them. It's not necessary. Another expensive version of this that I have found that I love is Superhero by It Cosmetics. It is very, very similar and the applicator is spot on. So I love them both so so much that liner definitely didn't make my mask my uh, lashes stand out but i will tell you that i don't wear the lashes a lot because it just feels weird note the last two things that we have is highlight and lipstick so what i'm going to do for highlight i've already done a little bit of the highlighting with um 
what I've used. Now I did bring in the um, Skin Twinkle Lighting Palette. It's got sunlight, moonlight, and filtered light. This is the first one of two now by Tarte. And it's good. The only thing I don't like is that you have to keep the little insert if you want to know what the difference are. So this is sunlight, moonlight. Clearly I put my finger in. And this one is supposed to be for photo finishes. So it's not like a big blam. And I couldn't figure out what the heck it's supposed to be. It's just like a powdery. What is this? So I actually use it on my brow bone whenever I'm fading. And it's really killer for that. I like it. Is it a really bam in your face highlighter? No, they really aren't. Anyway, I'm okay with this. It's not a huge thing that I reach for all the time, except for for the photo finish part. I like that, especially if I'm using a palette like the Clover palette that doesn't have a brow bone color to blend my stuff. Now it went really well today, so I didn't have to do that. So today I am actually going to utilize the Pure Highlight Palette again, like I used the Sunset for my blush. I have been really, really, really loving the Starbright and the Twinkle. Now I'm going to show you some swatches wear on my arm. Okay, so let me get some of that off. So Twinkle, Sultry, and Sunset. Starbright, Frostbitten, and Gold Rush. I don't use gold brush. Now, let's do twilight. I can't, I can't. It's supposed to be natural right now and I can't do it. So what I've been doing lately is I always use my little e.l.f. stifling brush and just use the edge. But for purposes of this, I'm going to go ahead and utilize this Ipsy thing. Why do I keep calling brushes things? So it doesn't really have a lot of fallout. Now remember, I can laugh or smile and everything goes in my... Oh, look at that. It's not natural. Okay, so I'm going to switch sides and show you the edge of this stipling brush. It's a little softer at first. Now it's got a little, oh, it's got a little blue in it from my highlight yesterday. Oh, you can't not love that. Look at that. That is so pretty. I said natural. <laughs> when has anyone known me to be natural? I mean, seriously. Now I don't feel like the brow bone is highlighted and snatched enough. Isn't that what they say? Snatched. So where's my thing? So we're going to go back into the twilight and I'm going to show you. Oh, mm. too much? Never too much. It's never too much. Now see, with a brush, it doesn't really go on as intense as your pinky. I end with usually is my cover girl get ready gorgeous and I go underneath the eyes to blend everything just a little probably getting too old for this why these wrinkles I don't know see how I, it just blends beautifully And I'm going to clean up some of this pink. See how it just like ugh, fixes it. This stuff is the bomb. I mean, ugh. for the longest I didn't use 
anything but this, which is probably best. But this is my routine. What do you think? Okay, so with that said, the last thing to cover is lipstick. And I have a couple of here, a couple of them here. Um, I, during the holidays, I grabbed this um, 12 days of holidays or Christmas or whatever from Origins. And I really, really, really like this. It's called Romance. Rosemance by uh, Origins. It's the Kiss Zing. It's for a soft color lips. So it looks a little something like this. Um, I carry around this with me. So usually I start off with a lipstick and then I move on. Another one that I just picked up, and y'all know I love Celebrity Skin by Jeffree Star, but I wanted a regular lipstick and so I picked this one up. Um, unfortunately, Celebrity Skin in the actual lipstick itself is a different color than in the liquid one on me and for some reason I get it all over my face and that it's probably user error so for today's purposes I'm gonna use this lovely sample that I got in one of my bags um, it is uh, NARS orgasm It is a really beautiful color it's very light and peachy and that's kind of natural what I'm want, want to go for right now so I love this. Mm. I am still shaking. Stunning, stunning. All right, so this is the Hydrating Milky Mist. It has hyaluronic acid and black oat and it's supposed to be youth preserving and I love it. So it helps to, me to set the powders and sometimes it makes my glow a lot more defined. Woo! And then I like to take um, usually a towel or some toilet paper or something and then just kind of pat it into my skin. I should get one of those little whatever it's fine. So this is the finished product. What do you think? Alrighty, boys and girls. So that is it. That's all I have for you today. It was supposed to be natural. Clearly I have problems going with natural. So with my, the actual colors I started with, it was supposed to be cool toned and natural and I did do that. But with that said, I think I love this look. So if you like stuff like this and you're interested in watching me actually put my makeup on and talk to you while I'm doing it and get ready with me and blah, 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 whatever that is. If you really like this um, and if you even want to see me go a step further and make some crazy cool looking stuff on my face, because I'm known for that, um, please like and subscribe. Join the family, leave me comments below, tell me what you want to see, and I will see you guys later. Don't forget to be awesome. Bye. I don't even know how long this has been, like 60 minutes? 60 minutes! Next on 60 Minutes. I look amazeballs. Mmm, a highlight though. That highlight though. That highlight though. Mm hmm It's time to get going. Seriously, I fucked off too much. Bye, Felicia. Gotta go.